Maybe we should take the mailbags a few at a time, said his pilot. They're very heavy. I'd have to make too many trips. Then I'd be as slow as Percy. And so they loaded all the mail into Harold's net at once. And the engineer continued to work on the signal. Just as they finished loading, a signal engineer cried out. It's fixed, he said. Wait, Harold, shouted Percy. I'm ready to go. But it was too late. Harold had already taken off. Percy watched the mail disappear. He was upset. But then they all heard a strange sound. Watch out for those trees, Harold, cried his pilot. My net is too heavy, wailed Harold. Harold is in trouble, Percy cried. We must try to help him. Are you all right? called Percy. Just get someone to pull me out of this haystack, sputtered Harold. And Percy did, as fast as he could. The next day, Harold's engine was fixed and he was flying again. Percy was very pleased to see him. Fancy taking the mail, Harold, Percy teased. I'll stand by with the rescue team. All the engines tooted and Harold hovered so low that only Percy could hear. Thanks for getting help to pull me out of that haystack, dear chap, he said. That's all right, said Percy. That's what friends are for. 